So I had a dream, <clears throat> a few, a couple of dreams a few nights ago, and one of them, um, I was sleeping in my own bedroom, um, and <clears throat> I remember waking up in my dream, and um, it was dark outside, and I had no idea what time it was, but I was walking around into the bedrooms, opening the doors, and my siblings and parents were gone and so I run outside worried <clears throat> and I see them flying up getting raptured and I was left behind and that was the end of that dream and so I had another dream um, <clears throat> like two nights ago where <clears throat> I was just walking down these streets and there were these babies screaming and crying in hunger and pain on the side of the road and were starving to death and were dying. There was um, old men, old women, and parents. They were all screaming and crying in pain because they had no food to eat and were very skinny and bony and were in lots of pain. And that was the end of that dream. All right, honey, so <clears throat> from those dreams, why don't you share with them what you believe the message is um, and what the Lord's trying to, trying to warn his people about. So <clears throat> when I think the message that the Lord's trying to bring out to others from those dreams are, well, from the left behind one, he is trying to sh show us, not to scare us, but he's showing us dreams to Christians where <clears throat> maybe we're left behind in the fear of it and not having Jesus and not following Jesus and not having him in our life and how scary it really is to us, thinking we're not gonna be with him for everlasting life with him and that we never got to do that and just watching your family get raptured up which is really sad and then the other message to the other dream where <clears throat> all uh, the people on the side of the road were starving to death screaming and crying in pain I think the message from that is <clears throat> since it's the end of the world now <clears throat> us Christians are going to be going through tough times where Christians are dying today as I'm speaking where <clears throat> there's going to be plagues where we're going to have no food and we're going to be dying and thousands and thousands of Christians will be dying for the Lord and be with Jesus and that could be before or after the rapture. Yeah. Is there anything <clears throat> else you want to share? <clears throat> okay. So, <clears throat> from the dreams that she had, this could be before or after the rapture during Great Tribulation. That's something we need to pray about. Um, and even if it's for after tribulation, we need to be praying for those who are left behind, praying for the babies and children and people uh, that the Lord may provide for them, that they may come to repentance and come to the Lord, that he may provide for them and give swift deaths that the little ones may not suffer. But also, I believe one of the most important messages uh, in this dream that Kateri forgot to share is repentance yeah. repent if you don't know what repent means it means to change your mind it means to ask God for forgiveness ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and then ask him to help you to stop doing those evil things that you're doing and then you need to take a step forward in faith to stop doing those evil things that you're doing because we don't want to serve Satan with our lives. 
we want to serve Jesus with our lives. And the best way to learn how to serve Jesus is to read scripture or listen to mommy and daddy or who, whoever is reading scripture to you. If you're young and if you can't read for yourself, if you're old enough to read, read scripture for yourself. If you don't have a Bible, ask your parents or someone close to you to give you one. And of course, ask the Lord to provide a Bible for you. But it's very important. It's very important that we repent to Jesus and that we follow him, that we give our lives to him. That's having a true relationship with Jesus. And if you don't know already, Jesus came while we were all sinners. We all sin, right? No one's better than anyone else. We've all done bad things. We've all thought bad thoughts about people. We've all hurt people and we've been hurt. And so Jesus came and he died for us, even though none of us deserved it, so that we could go to heaven and be with him and Father God. So he's up in heaven now, and he's going to come back and take all those that believe in him up to be with him. And because he died for us, we have that chance to be with him forever and to not go to hell forever. Because icky sins, evil things... That is what sends people to hell because it's following Satan who is evil and not God. And we don't want to follow Satan. You can't do all of this in your own strength. That's why we need a savior. So you need to ask Jesus to help you. Say, Jesus, please help me. Please help me to repent. And the Holy Spirit, which is God's spirit, Jesus' spirit that he gives to us, will help you with this, okay? I hope that it doesn't matter what age you are, young child, older child, teenager, I hope that this message help you, these dreams that the Lord is giving his people to let you guys know that really bad things are coming and we don't want to be here for any of that. We don't want to be left behind. It's so, so very important that we turn from our wicked ways and that we follow Jesus. All right. Well, that's all. You have anything else you want to share, honey? Bye. God all right. Bless. God bless. Bye, guys.